welcome back to farm and I am in the kitchen today because I have a little leftover preserving I need to get done this week before they go back. So as I've mentioned before, we grow herbs and sell them at the farmer's market. We don't always sell out. That's just the reality of selling at a farmer's market. So whatever is left over, we either feed to the rabbits and the chickens or I go ahead and preserve them. So today I've got quite a large batch that needs to get done. It was a really slow market day. We had a lot of rainy, nasty weather. It was cold and people just weren't out shopping like they normally are. So I've got a lot to get done this week. Right now I'm working on dill and dill is one of our best sellers. No explanation needed. It's one of my absolute favorites. I've also got parsley, cilantro, um, thyme, oregano, and chives that need to be dehydrated. Now, one thing to mention is there's two kinds of herbs. There's your woody herbs, which is things like your thyme, oregano, rosemary, um, sage. Those you can actually just bunch together and hang dry them. I like to put them upside down and hang them in my laundry room for a few weeks. And when they get real dry and crunchy, you can just kind of break it apart. You can pull the leaves off, however you want to do it. Put those in jars and they're ready to go. However, you want to make sure that they are dehydrated all the way through. You want to make sure that the stuff in the middle got dried, that the bunches aren't too big. If it's not dried enough, it can cause moisture issues in your jar, which can lead to mold and make you sick. So just something to note there when you're hanging your herbs up and drying them that way. Then you have your soft stemmed herbs, which are things like dill, parsley, cilantro, basil, um, chives. Those are all really soft, more like a leaf herb. And, um, those I like to put in the dehydrator. I feel like I get an even drying. I've seen people bunch them and hang them, but I personally use a dehydrator for those. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm getting all of these dried and ready to go to be put up. So all of these right now are going in the dehydrator. So step one when you're dehydrating your herbs is make sure they are clean. You don't want any dirt or bugs or anything on them because after you're done, you're gonna grind them up and put them in jars and whatever dirt and debris is in there is gonna go along, go right into your jars as well. We clean all of our herbs before I bring them to the market, but because they were sitting out on the market table, people were walking by, um, people wanna to touch, they wanna stand there and talk over them. I feel really, I feel much better about um, washing them. So I just soak them in water um, with some lemon essential oil and that cleans them. I lay them out on a towel and just make sure they're not like sopping wet. They can be a little damp because they're going in the dehydrator so they'll dry all the way in there. I have an Excalibur dehydrator. I'll link that down below. I bought this on an Amazon Prime deal, Black Friday deal kind of a thing. So just keep an eye out, especially now that Black Friday is coming up. They will go on sale. This is a nine drawer dehydrator. It's really simple. It's got the knob. You turn it right to what you're doing. Like I even think it tells me, yeah, it tells me on the drying guide right on the dehydrator um, what temperature to set herbs on. And on this, I'm going to hit put it at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I let it go for a couple hours and I'll just go through and check it periodically and make sure they're not getting too dried and make sure that they are dry enough. These come with the dehydrator. It comes with nine trays. I bought these dehydrating um, film paper just as an extra thing, I lay it down on the tray. That way, nothing, when you're drying herbs, they get really um, small and they can easily fall through here. So I just put this down, I put the herbs on, and then I put this on top of it and stick it in the dehydrator. 
I don't usually put the stems in the dehydrator and you totally can um, because we don't want anything to go to waste. But I'm also feeding rabbits and chickens so I don't feel like it's going to waste at all here on the farm. So I'm just gonna go through and pick off these little leaves and stick them on my tray and then they'll go on the dehydrator. So it's really simple, but just really make sure that you're drying them all the way so that no moisture builds up in the jar and you don't get any fungal or bacterial things growing in that jar because that's never a good thing. So I'm gonna work on this project for today and um, yeah, there's a lot here. <laughs> This tray is ready to go in. See, I have a nice, even layer. And that's important to have so you can get a nice, even dehydration. heading on down to the rabbits. We're going to give them the stems from the herbs I've got drying in the dehydrator. I'll check on them in about two hours and see how they're doing and then we'll take it from there. Hi ladies, you want some treats? Here, you want to see if they want a couple of these, Luke? Sure. No, just take some out of the bowl. Just take some out of the bowl and see if they'll eat it. Well, they may not want it, and that's okay. They might not be hungry. Chicken's it. He likes it. I tried her, but she didn't want it. Alright, let's go try the rabbits. Oh, she want more? Oh, she want more. That buddy. Well, lady. Did you buckle eat it? Good job. Is it Bob? Bob? Not too much? Mm -hmm. That's good. There you go, Bucky boy. Now, now he's going to have a little snack. One of them. You think they're able to be split up now? They probably can be. Should we split there, them up today? That's good. No. Yeah, they do. Yeah, not all of it? Yep. Here, Mom. You want the ball? Mm-hmm. Close this back up. Four eggs. You got four eggs? Yeah. What did you just get to? Yeah. Now that the dill is dry, I'm just going to simply break it up with my fingers since this is a really fine-leafed herb, and it breaks up very easily into the jar. Each herb dries differently, so I check them every two hours. You know the herb is done when it breaks apart in your hand and you hear a, sort of a crunching sound. With things like parsley and cilantro, I put them into my blender and blend them up. I find that this gives a nice even texture to the herb and I can just scoop it out of the jar and cook with it and use it as I need. My blender has a pulse setting, which I hit multiple times, and I find that this gets it to the consistency that I want it. As I said before, I will continue these steps with things like dill, cilantro, parsley, thyme, Basil is another great one to do. The options are really endless. This can be done with a lot of medicinal herbs as well, and the dried herbs in turn can be turned into teas. 
am gonna keep working away at getting all of these herbs preserved. This is a great way to use up that harvest or leftovers in our case from the market. I hope you found this video super helpful and it gave you some ideas as to what to do with all of those prolific things that come out of the garden. Especially with herbs, a lot of them you just plant one time and they keep going all season and for years to come. I find them to be a great addition to the garden and something I look forward to having fresh. But as you know, you can't always have that luxury. So dried herbs are a great option to be able to continue to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.